From this. <laughs> Where is Pat Man? To this. Where is Pat Man? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, peeps? It's your boy Patman at Where's Patman on Instagram, and today I'm, I'm with my cousin, and we're going to be going to where are we going? Dirty Bones. Dirty Bones. Dirty Bones. You been there before? No, I haven't. First time, yeah. First time. You're treating me. You're treating me for my birthday. Yeah. So it's a, a belated birthday present. <laughs> I thought, why not? Let's do a review of it and tell you guys what it's saying. But before we go, I just want you to introduce yourself. Let everyone know who you are, what you do. Cool. Hi everyone, my name is Adina Benjamin. I'm a singer songwriter, a mental health nurse, and through voice and sound, I encourage people to heal through their past pain and speak their authentic, authentic truth, basically. Mm. Yeah. And, and speaking of that, um, I've been hearing or seeing online that you've gone viral recently. What's this, yep. what's this viral thing about? What, what have you done? Listen, Almost a million people a have million tuned into her. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I didn't even realize that I would go viral like that. I had my head bonnet on. I would just woke up from uh, just, it was my day off in it. So I was literally like, I wanted to speak about taking rest and mm. the importance of rest and how you True. need to give yourself that rest. No matter how far you're pushing yourself mm. to get to where you want to go, you still need to give yourself that rest. Facts. And Facts. it just blew up. So yeah. So what are you saying? There's bare people there that, that, that need rest basically. Hundred percent. And I mm. spoke about like my mum and the mm. passing of my mum as well, mm. how she didn't give herself rest and she um ended up having a stroke. So real talk is important. Yeah, no, it's a big issue, man. Even for myself, I feel like I'm always going, going, going. And then even when I saw it, it resonated with me. Yeah. Obviously you saw I reposted it for you. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, like it's it's a, it's a serious topic that needs to be shared. Yeah. It's important to get your rest, guys. If you're working your job doing your 40, 50, 100 hours a week, whatever you're doing, take your risk, take, get your time out, man. Don't 100%. let the hustle kill you. 100%. So let's go, we'll go check it out, yeah? Let's go. Yeah, man, so today, guys, we've got the champagne, AKA Crystal Punch. AKA Stop. Stop. <laughs> the best trick ever. I've got the sparkling version, sparkling water. Do you like sparkling water? No. You don't? No. What? I mean, I've been having it a bit lately because everywhere has sparkling water. Yeah. Oh, wait, I don't even think this is. Oh, that is sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. yeah, guys, at home, you like sparkling water. You get to the age. I appreciate the sparkling water now. How's your drink? What cocktail did you order, by the way? So I ordered the Brooklyn Buck. Brooklyn Buck. So that it says money talks because money does talk. Spice talks. Because you know, spice talks. No uh, I'm going to get a chance for that, yeah? Yeah, man. Cheers. Sorry, cuz. I left you, I left you hanging. Yeah, me. Money, money talks, yeah? Money talks and spice, spice talks. Fruits. So it's got um, spice rum, gingerbread syrup, vanilla syrup, and apple and ginger. Tastes oh, alright. Yeah. Tastes alright, yeah? I've got the good old H2O. What are you, what are you ordering? I think, still trying to decide between the mac and cheese and the mac balls, but I know I'm getting chicken and waffles. I ain't had chicken and waffles in time. Okay, yeah. Uh, I was looking at the chicken waffles as well. I feel like we're going to get the short rib sticks, mm. the uh, raised beef short rib. I feel like I'm going to get that, you know. For starters, I'm definitely not getting on Mac balls. Pause. Get Let me not even say anything on camera. <laughs> Pause. Get me. So wait, yeah. have you heard anything about Dirty Bones before? I actually haven't. Is it? Is, so it, the is first. it really like two different things? I was thinking I was going dirty my teeth. What? <laughs> 
I don't know that is it like a spin-off or <laughs> I don't think so too. Like a lot of people talk about dirty bones mm. and um for ages I was like oh, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. Um so I thought, do you know what, why not? But you know what's crazy, yeah? My fantastic content creator, Real Dot Rage on Instagram guys, make sure you check her out, yeah. She's actually been here before. So she's uh basically coaching us for what we should and shouldn't get really. And we've been told we should try the chicken and waffles. So I don't know. She's, she's saying it's good, but you're gonna find out, you know. You're gonna find out. <laughs> you're gonna find out, you know. You're gonna find out. <laughs> you're gonna find out, you know. You're gonna find out. <laughs> wow. The pressure is getting worse. Oh, yeah. And they've got the, I just saw it as well, the lunchtime, the lunch list. Yeah. From Monday to Friday, guys, between 12 and 3, you can come to Dirty Bones and get a meal for 12 pounds. Which is a uh, looks like what a main and a drink. That's actually really good. Oh, it's not actually it's a, it's a burger, a burger, fries, and or salad or coleslaw. You know, so this is a decent meal. Four mm. quid. Oh, but it's extra for the drink, basically. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's still not bad though. All right, so I really feel like I want to try the mac and cheese balls first. Mac and cheese balls? Yeah. Well, I'll let you, you try, try some? I'm not going to try no balls, yeah. so <laughs> I'll leave your thing, you know. Ay, ay, ay. All right. All right, it's a bit crunchy. Mm. Well, you should you should talk us through all the stuff we got actually. Yeah, we should. What, what have you ordered? What have you ordered? What are you ordered? What's going on? So wait, I just got very excited. This is mac and cheese balls. Yeah. Um, and then what's this? And then I've got the wagyu tang burger. Wagyu tang burger. So wagyu beef burger, guys. Mm -hmm. And then we got here chicken chicken and waffles. And waffles. I think it's like it's a spicy sauce, and then and I'm not quite sure that what it is. Mm -hmm. And then we've got. The truffle, truffle fries, fries. With cheese, and we've got the short beef ribs, and I've got a wagyu burger as well. Nice. Right. Right. So taste I'm gonna it. Try. Mm. What's it saying? What's it giving? Is it spicy? Is it creamy? Is it? It's creamy. Mm. I think it could do with a bit more flavor but it's not nice okay a bit more like spice but it's okay. nice it's nice okay all right so we're gonna try the wagyu beef together that's mm -hmm. what it's saying it's got some crispy onions on the inside cheese two beef pâtés mm -hmm. wagyu style let's, right, let's go cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs> It's good. Yeah. It's good. I don't even hang in. Sorry. <laughs> I was too into the burger. Mm. You know how soft that means? Mm. Good burger, you know? We didn't ask whether it was well done or not. Obviously, this it's isn't true. well done. Um, is it not? It's What's not well done. Well, I think, I think it's, it's medium well. Medium well. Yeah, medium well, medium well. Mm. Nah, this is the, you know what? When I was on the way here, yeah, mm. the guy stopped me and he was like, oh, are you got dirty bones randomly. I was like, yeah, I was thinking, what's he talking about? I was like, oh no, dirty bones are sick. You should try the burger, you know? The burger's nice. Literally, just when I was coming here, someone said that to me. So I thought I'd try the burger, and his advice was not wrong. The burger is banging. Burger so is banging. definitely get the Wagyu Tang, it's called, isn't it? Wagyu Tang burger. Wagyu yeah. Tang burger, this is nice, man. It's probably one of the best burgers I have. Mm. Uh -huh. Try the fries as well. Yeah, wait, one more, one more. <laughs> the key to a woman's heart. It's true food. <laughs> heard it, heard it's true. She said it's true. <laughs> no. Let's go. Let's try these fries. These fries. Mm. These, these, the fries ain't. I, I always keep it 100 in my videos, yeah, my reviews. Yeah. The fries ain't that like fresh cut fries. Yeah. I think it's like pre-made fries mm -hmm. though. 
but the sauce and that is alright still. Yeah. It's cool. Oh, what else? Go on. So I was going to say the sauce kind of tastes like the sauce that's on the mac and cheese sauce. Mm. Cheesy sauce. Mm -hmm. But it can, um, you know what I'm saying? It can do with a bit more. I think, I think it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice yeah. though, it's nice. But I forgot to ask you as well, what would you rate the mac and cheese rolls out of five, the burger and the fries? You have a rating system. So out of five for the mac and cheese balls. Mac and cheese balls. Yeah. 3.54. 3.54. I say 3.5. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 3.5. Let yeah, me make cool. a decision. Be decisive. Burger. Mm -hmm. Definitely a five. Mm. Definitely yes. a five. Yeah, I give the I give the burger a five, so four point five five. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a five. I feel like it could have had a bit more sauce in it, but Vice that's it. Good, yeah. yeah, four point five five. Chips. Chips. Three. Three. I think I'll give the chips a two out of five, you know. Mm. I think I'll give it a two out of five. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. I like a two, two and a half. Three. Yeah. And then what we what we going to next? The waffles, the waffles, chicken waffles. Let's go. You're gonna find out. You know? Find out. <laughs> Cool. So what are we doing? How do we do this now? Are That's something that we did. Put it on top. We're we gonna get some assistance. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. So how, what do you do? What sauce is it? So this is uh, sweet uh, maple syrup. Okay. With the chili flavor. Okay. okay we nice. make it here, yes. and this is our ranch sauce. And the ranch sauce, yeah. yeah. So guys, when you come to uh, Dirty Bones, that's oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Top guy here. Thanks for the hospitality. Yeah. Appreciate it. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Do you want to try yours first? Do you want to pour yours first? I want to pour the sauce on. Are we just, what are we doing? Just pouring on like? Yeah, yeah, just pour it how you want to pour it. Keep going. No, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Ah. So we try and we bite it first and then after with the ranch, yeah? Yeah. All right, cool. So as I said, guys, the content creator, real got rage, said to us, try the try the uh, chicken and waffles, you know. You have to try the chicken waffles. She was bigging it up to me on the phone, you know. You get me? Right, let's see what you're saying. I'll taste it a little bit. Let's go. Quite a bit. Mm. This is actually good. Hey! Mm. Yo! Real dot reach. Is that you? <laughs> Real dot reach, yeah. Yeah, this is the good this is the good one still. This is nice, you know? Yeah. You I'm one of them ones that's like as soon as I say mm, mm. you know that I like it. No, this like, is mm. nice, this is nice. It's good. Let's try it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is now it's all messy. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a mad combination. But as it goes wrong, well. it's yeah. really nice. No. Who that rage? Is that you, yeah? Is that Slow you? Down. What? She was saying, Oh, I, ha I haven't been here for a long time. I don't know if it's the same. That's what I was saying. I don't know if it's the same night, no, bang. It's she nice. She said she came here like maybe like four or five years ago. Mm. So if it was good then and it's good now, guys, whenever you're going to come, it's going to be good for you as well. 100%. Definitely try this. The burger, the chicken and waffles. I ain't tried no balls, but yeah. <laughs> They're banging. Chicken waffles and a burger. Oh. What would you rate it? Oh, these are nice. These two yeah. are definitely up top. What would you give the chicken waffles then? Uh, five. five. Yeah, I think it's a five as five. well. You know, yeah, I don't even want to say the other place that I went to and I had something similar, but it definitely weren't as good as this. This is nice still. Trust me. I have to, I have to, uh, after eight dirty bones for this still. Mm -hmm. The beef the yeah. beef short ribs. It's not because 
most restaurants, mm. when you have ribs, it's pork ribs, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't eat pork. Same. So the fact, I feel like this is going to be like the first time I'm trying ribs. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because you never had, I've had I, beef ribs before. I don't know. think I've had beef ribs. Oh, is it? Do you know, I've had a really good beef rib one time from another restaurant. I'm not going to say the name of it here. That was top tier. And I was, listen, all of that, trust me. <laughs> But let's see what this says. The other one I had was a bit different. It didn't have like a uh, a breadcrumb coating on top. So yeah. this will be interesting to try this. I don't mind having the uh the waffles, the waffles on the side, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I played, I played. Are uh, you supposed to be treating me for my birthday? <laughs> uh, go on, you try first. Mm. Not yeah. The beef ribs are nice, but I don't think it's as nice as these two. Nah. But you know what it is? I don't think it needs the actual bread crumbs on it. Yeah. Personally. It should have just been but straight itself. ribs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's still good. What do you reckon Rob? I would say they better than three point five again. I think that's fair, you know. Yeah, I think three, five. three, three and a half out of five is a good score. Still, yeah. three out of five is decent. Still, like I wouldn't say to run and get the ribs, but definitely try it. It's just the first time you come in. But when you come today, you're going to definitely got to get the wagyu. Is it wagyu tang? Wagyu tang burger. Wagyu tang burger. And a duck and waffle. I'm um, sorry, chicken and waffles. Mm-hmm. Yo, that is that is. So you saying you're gonna take this one? I take this one, yeah. No. <laughs> I just had to process what you said there. <laughs> yeah, so what's been going on lately now? So you're saying about your music, your um done that post the other day. Took, mm. Tell us more about that, man. What's been going on? Yeah, so music. So I'm a singer-songwriter doing more like gospel soul music. Sick. Um, Which is definitely needed out there. Mm-hmm. I, sorry to even interject here, but yeah. you know that guy? I don't know if you've seen him. He's gone kind of viral as well. He's like a gospel... Bashman artist, but there people are like reposting him, like Shaquille O'Neal, like all these big celebrities from England, America. But someone that I know, I'm not going to name them on here, knows him though. Um, I'll try and see if we can get a connect to it. Yes. I would, I'll would find his name after, mm-hmm. like King Jazz or something like that. I'm not too sure, but nah, let yeah, me know. be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me know because he's know. just blown up, he's gone viral, so he's gone viral, he's gone viral. Mm. You never know, you know. Listen, this going viral business, I literally mm. posted that post yeah. with no intention of thinking anything. Like I was like, my my followers are like my friends, isn't it? So mm. they all know mm. I'll have my bonnet on, I'll have yeah. my pajamas, I'll say what I'm gonna say. I saw the bonnet, so I was like, yo. <laughs> so music wise, um, yeah, I've been doing more soul gospel. Um, I started out as an R and B artist, and I have some songs out on Spotify. Uh, so name is Adina Benjamin on Spotify. Um, but I went through a just with my own mental health and my own journey. I went for a spiritual journey and I found God. I got closer to God and I started singing more gospel songs. And I feel like that's where I found my voice. So now when I sing soul songs and I sing gospel songs, I'm like, it's almost like God is singing through me. So I'm like, yeah. What do you, what do you call it, a testimony? Yeah, like my testimony. own testimony. Yeah. Like, God really found my voice for me. And it's mad to say, but like, I went through life just doing what other people thought, like doing what I would think people would want me to do. Whereas now it's like I'm doing what God wants me to do. So yeah, that's good, good. man. That's good because I see since you started doing uh, gospel stuff as well, a lot of positive stuff has started to connect. Hundred percent. So I'm doing more like uh, performances. I'm doing more. Uh, I do public speaking. I do motivational speaking. So I'm doing a lot more motivational speaking as well. Um, and that's m- more so in the mental health stuff. Yeah, more so with mental health because uh, I'm a mental health nurse as well. Um, so that's kind of where I get my experience from through my own journey, but through what I've seen from work and things as well. Okay, so if someone wants to get in touch with you regarding that, how do they go about doing it as well? Regarding mental health? Yeah, yeah. So I would just say reach out. Like, 
I'm getting through the messages that I've got because yeah, since that post, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've had so many messages. But I would just say, if you're going through something yeah. and you like you feel like you're in a crisis, talk to someone. Like if it's me, if it's someone you trust. Um, but there's people that you can reach out to. I know in the UK there's Samaritans, there's Mind as well. But I feel like in our community we don't talk enough. And I think that's what we need to do. We need to be able to share the load. Or talk to God. That's what helped me, not going to lie. Mm. So, yeah. It's interesting you say that still. It's true, man. Like I was saying before, yeah, there's a lot of people that are going through stuff. Um, and going through it in silence, you know. Like, suffering in silence. And I think it's good. But would you say, so you're saying what? Obviously, talk to God definitely. Mm-hmm. But is it better to talk to someone you know or not know? Or is it just... It depends. Because mm. I feel like it depends on who... It's more about who you trust. And, and I think I, I shared a post about this earlier today. About finding the right people to speak to. So you could have, for example, family members and friends who are the ones that actually can trigger. They might not mean to. It might not be intentional but they can trigger certain things in you because of like generational traumas things passed down and stuff so it's about finding the right people that's going to really encourage you to like grow through what you're going through if that makes yeah, that makes sense that makes full sense mm. to grow through what you're going through is true they say to turn your pain into what's it pain into, pain into purpose purpose pain into passion pain into, into yeah, 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 power yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, it's true, man. So, yeah, so then this touch more on the video that you said you put up the other day that's gone viral. Almost a million people has watched this video, you know. A million people. Almost a million people. It's mad. And the thing is, because I work during the day as well, like I'm a mental health nurse, so like Mm. my day job takes quite a lot out of me, so I'm not really even checking my phone during the day. And then I come and I look at it in the evening and it's like ping, 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 ping. I'm like, wow. It's mad. You're basically responsible for the whole world. <laughs> don't, don't, don't put that on my shoulder. <laughs> Everyone wants to get in touch with you. I see all oh the messages God, as well. Literally. That's what I'm saying. Everyone's going to want to get in touch with you. Yeah. So what? If, if Are you able to talk with people then at the moment? Obviously. Well, I might have to say to my manager, listen, I might have another job that I need to do. <laughs> because there's literally there's people messaging me saying oh i need help can you help me thank you for sharing your story because i shared a story about my mum passing from a stroke um, and not many people understand that like stroke so it's basically if you don't know what a stroke is it's swelling in the brain that's caused by high blood pressure stress chronic stress and diet as well and a lot of people from all over the world of like yeah my parents have died from that my grandparents my like it's crazy mm. crazy how many people like, i thought it was just me and then when i shared the story found mm. out that millions yeah, of people are going through similar things yeah 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 no, no, i know i know it's crazy man mm. i know a few people that's had strokes as well mm. like young and young and old Insane. Yeah, man. So it's important to, yeah, guys, definitely take the time out, man. Like, obviously, we're here today at the lovely Dirty Bones, but there's a message in what we're saying, man. So if you're feeling stressed, overwhelmed, make sure you take the time out, to relax and chill. Even if it's at one day a week, let's yeah. do nothing to relax, recharge, reset, you know? 100%. Because health it's, is wealth. 100%. And, like, it's law. I was going to say sorry to bring God into it, but I'm not sorry to bring God into it. It's, it's actually mm. law. Like, mm. in scripture, it says that God rested on the seventh day. So why are we not listening to what what's happening? We're just work, work, work. All right, guys, so we just finished that Dirty Bones. It's time for the final review. Mm. Adina, what are you saying? How was it? Well, listen, it's good. I've got my doggy bag to take home. <laughs> I really like the burger. I really like the chicken and waffles. Yes. Five, five star, five star. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So what would you give the restaurant overall then? Restaurant, One to five. Overall, I'd give it a good 4.5. It's because the, the customer service in there was lovely. Like, they're really nice people as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I think, I think I'd give it, I'd give it a full... Almost a four about five. Like it's good. Yeah. Yeah, like in terms of overall, 
obviously I've been to like fancy restaurants you could say, but the food was so good. Mm -hmm. like, you can't get nothing in a four, less than a four. Literally. The food was so good. So yeah, like four, almost a 4.5. Yeah. It's sick, man. But yeah, nice. I think when you come here, you definitely have to try. As Real Dot Rage said, Try the waffles, the chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. Try the, was it with the what? The what? Wagyu Tang burger. The Wagyu Tang burger. Yeah. When you come in. Those two are must try. Yeah. Other stuff is good as well, but not as good as those two. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Cool. Let's go. Got the drop, man, man, man. Got